Dear students, welcome you all in this 15th video of Engineering Physics uh, in which we will discuss about the Rayleigh criterion of resolution and dissolving power of grating. This is last video of this unit. Uh, the ability of an optical instrument to resolve the images of two points that is known as resolving power of optical instrument and uh, the uh, Rayleigh propose a criteria of resolution that is known as Rayleigh criterion of resolution. Two spectral uh, lines of equal intensities are said to be resolved if the principal maxima of the diffraction pattern due to one falls on the first secondary minima of the diffraction pattern and vice versa. Suppose this is a principal maxima A for lambda 1 wavelength and this is principal maxima for lambda 2 wavelength and uh, in this figure A and B are principal maxima of the diffraction pattern of two spectral lines lambda 1 and lambda 2. In this case the angle of uh, diffraction corresponding to the principal maxima of the image B sorry this is B image B is greater than the angle of diffraction corresponding to first minima at the right angle of A. Hence the two spectral lines will appear as resolved. Now, the second case, suppose this is principal maxima of lambda 1 wavelength and this is principal maxima of lambda 2 wavelength A, B and this is lambda 2 and lambda 2 is lambda 1 plus d lambda 1 and it is it it seems like this suppose it is represented by c the principal maxima corresponding to the wavelength lambda 1 and lambda 2 where lambda 2 is lambda 1 plus d lambda 1 are very close the angle of diffraction corresponding to the first minimum of a is greater than angle of diffraction corresponding to the principal maximum of B. Hence the two images overlap and the spectral lines are not resolved. The resultant intensity due to A and B gives a maximum C, this C gives a maximum C which is higher than uh, A and B both. Thus when an optical instrument is turned from A and B, the intensity increases, becomes maximum at C and then decreases. This is the case C. And now this is uh, first case, this is second case. In this case images are resolved, in this case images are not resolved. And now Third case, this is principal maxima of lambda 1 wavelength and this is principal maxima of lambda 2 wavelength or we can say lambda 1 plus d lambda 1 a and b. In this case, uh, the principal maximum of A coincides with the principal minima, this is principal minima of B. Similarly, the principal maxima of B coincides with the minima of A. Here, this is principal maxima of A and it is coincide with the principal minima of B. And here this is principal maxima of B, it is coincides with the minimum of B. The I will see the
the combined effect of two which is shown by the resultant resultant curve and this curve shows a dip in the middle it is it is see like this dip in the middle the intensity c this is c the intensity at c is nearly same as turned from a and b hence when an optical instrument is turned from a and uh, b there is a noticeable decrease in intensity between the two maxima a this a and b hence the spectral lines uh, can be distinguished from one another and the lines are said to be first just resolved just resolved these are just resolved and if an optical instrument just resolved spectral lines lambda and lambda plus d lambda then resolving power resolving power of optical instrument it should be lambda upon d lambda lambda upon d lambda this is uh, really criterion of resolution now we will discuss about the now resolving power of grating resolving power of diffraction grating the resolving power of diffraction grating represents its ability to form separate spectral lines for wavelengths very close together suppose resolving power of an optical instrument is represented by lambda upon d lambda where d lambda is very small and uh, can be just resolved at wavelength lambda let a parallel beam of light wavelength lambda and lambda plus d lambda uh, be incident normally at a diffraction grating and let nth principal maxima of wavelength lambda be formed in the direction theta then uh, we know that grating equation is e plus d sin theta equal to n lambda where uh, e plus d is grating element grating element which is equal to width of grating upon number of ruling lines and small n represents the number of orders of spectra let the first minima adjacent to nth maxima be formed in the direction of theta plus d theta and we can under understand it suppose this is a grating and these are the slits light is incident and diffracted at an angle theta suppose wavelength lambda and again this angle is d theta wavelength is lambda plus d lambda and total angle becomes theta plus d theta and suppose uh, we have n number of ruling lines on grating ruling lines on grating then uh, we know that the first minima adjacent to nth maxima be formed in the direction of theta plus d theta then uh, grating equivalent of minima we have derived it in uh, minima of uh, minima of diffraction grating n e plus d sin theta equal to m lambda 
uh, where capital N represents the number of total lines and M represents uh, the integer value except integer values except 0, n, 2n, etc. and uh, because these values give 0 order, 1st order, 2nd order, uh, that represents the pinch per maximum. And clearly, the first minimum adjacent to the nth principal, nth principal maximum in the uh, in and the direction theta increasing will be obtained m equal to n n plus one, and uh, we can say that this equation becomes capital N p e plus d sine this theta becomes theta plus d theta equal to m becomes small n capital N plus one into lambda this is the this is the equation or uh, uh, if we divide by capital n it becomes e plus d sine theta plus d theta equal to small n capital n plus 1 upon capital n lambda capital uh, e plus d sine theta plus d theta and capital n plus 1 upon capital n into lambda and uh, as per Rayleigh criterion, the wavelength lambda and lambda plus d lambda are just resolved by the grating when the nth maximum of lambda plus d lambda is just obtained in the direction of theta plus d theta. Then e plus d sine theta plus d theta it becomes n in place of in this equation in place of this lambda it becomes lambda plus d lambda and theta this theta is replaced by theta plus d theta and this lambda is replaced by lambda plus d lambda and lambda plus d lambda now we can consider it is equation number one and it is equation number two and if we compare these two equations uh, left hand sides are equal now small n capital n plus one upon capital n lambda equal to small n lambda plus d lambda or we can say small n capital N lambda plus lambda equal to small n capital N lambda plus small n capital N d lambda and now n and lambda cancel out lambda equal to small n capital N d lambda and lambda upon d lambda equal to small n into capital N and we know that lambda upon d lambda represents the resolving power resolving power of creating that should be lambda upon d lambda small n into capital N this is resolving power of creating and uh, thus the resolving power of grating is equal to the product of number of orders of spectrum and number of total ruling lines on the grating uh, at uh, for central maximum for central maximum small n becomes equal to zero at the center it means resolving power of grating is also zero at the central maximum and uh, we know that 
uh, if we want to determine the relation between dispersive power dispersive power and uh, resolving power of plating we know that dispersive power is dispersive power is uh, rate of change of angular diffraction with respect to wavelength d theta upon d lambda and we know that it is equal to n upon e plus d cos theta we have derived derived it already n upon e plus d cos theta and uh, we know that resolving power lambda upon d lambda is small n into capital n and we can write uh, small n this is small n this is small n is e plus d cos theta d theta upon d lambda this is small n is e plus d cos theta into d theta upon d lambda we can write this uh, we can replace this small n by e plus d cos theta d theta upon d lambda into uh, capital n and now lambda upon d lambda equal to capital n e plus d cos theta d theta upon d lambda this is resolving power this is dispersive power and it represents the total aperture it means the relation between resolving power and dispersive power resolving power of grating is equal to total aperture into dispersive power of grating this is the relation between resolving power and dispersive power of grating and this chapter this unit has been finished now in the next video we will start the next unit thank you very much